Hi everyone. Think you can fine tune a large image model on a Mac? Challenging accepted. Today I will walk you through the fine tune of a LoRa for stable diffusion 3.5 large using a MacBook Pro with M3 Pro chip and 36 gigabytes of RAM. Let's see how it performs. First thing first, let's see the tools. I used the, the Simple Tuner project from GitHub. The installation is quite straightforward. The only caveat is that I needed to install a few packages manually. I will cover the details on my blog post. Now, let's talk about the input. As you may know that the fine tune will need uh, some input images to teach the image model some new concept. So it's the fun part, picking anything you would like. For this demo, I use uh, the artwork from a Chinese artist called uh, Shou Xing. This is uh, his uh, social media posts. They had uh, millions of views. Wow. Don't you think that it's very, very unique? I downloaded a total of 18 images and manually added a caption to them. So this is a photo of all the input images. It's not much, but it's sufficient. And also because of the small number of images, it usually doesn't require a huge effort, number of steps to fine tune them. So that's good news if you have a slow machine. And now, the moment you have been waiting for, fine-tuning the LoRa on Mac. I used uh, this command to kick off the training process. Keep calm and let the training do its thing. We can see the RAM has been increased uh, significantly from 36% to 91%. I think it's also used uh, quite a lot of the swap space. So if, if you are able to get a, a bigger RAM MacBook, definitely go with a higher RAM. And we also see the GPU has been spiked to 100%. We see that uh, it just started uh, the actual fine tuning of our LoRa, and uh, we we do see that uh, because I'm I'm using like a twenty five hundred uh, steps, but in reality, because I only have like eighteen images, it can be much much smaller than that. Probably one tenth of it is sufficient. Probably even like one hundred steps is sufficient. So that's good news because you don't need you actually need the twenty five hundred steps. So here is a screenshot of the performance at a step of 750. As we can see, it took about 10 hours and 50 minutes to train the 750. I think uh, it's still acceptable. One remarkable thing that I noticed is that uh, the power usage, if you look at uh, the top up side, there is uh, 20 watts. So that's the total system input. So I think that's quite uh, remarkable. After a few hundreds of training steps, it's time to see the test uh, results. Let's uh, load uh, the LoRa into Comfy UI and uh, let's uh, create something. Here, here is a simple stable diffusion 3.5 large workflow loading the LoRa we just trained. So in here, I will do a very simple prompt, a pencil sketch of the White House. If everything works smoothly, the LoRa will be able to draw the style which we trained. But first, let's see how it performs without the LoRa. So this is uh, straight uh, stable diffusion, 3.5 large. Let's uh, run it. So 
3.5 large is quite a bigger model, so the inference time is a little bit uh, slow. Expect around uh, 22 seconds for 20 steps. Okay, so this is this one is uh, without uh, the LoRa. This is uh, stable diffusion, the base model. Okay, and let's uh, enable our LoRa. So this is uh, Mac train the two hundred and fifty step checkpoint. So let's uh, see how it uh, performs. Speed wise, it's uh, very very similar to the base model because the uh, LoRa is about uh, three hundred uh, megabytes, not very big. Okay, we see that. Uh, it just shows up. So and uh, I think we can see some of our trimmed style, the shape. So this is two hundred and fifty steps. So let's uh, try the five hundred steps. So this one is five hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah, we see that uh, the, at 500 steps, I feel this one is very, very, very similar to the original art we provided uh, to the fine tuning, right? So if you compare the base with uh, 250 step and then with uh, the 500 steps, so I feel this this one is uh, feels much much authentic. It seems like uh, the model is able to learn about the concept and apply it to the generated image. Wow, what a great uh, artwork. Yeah, it seems that it's very, very successful. Yeah, I will share the workflow to the GitHub repo so you can download it and I will also provide the checkpoint. In addition, to make it easier, I have deployed uh, this uh, model live on my website, agireacts.com. Please uh, go to the website and check it out. It has a very simple UI, so you just uh, enter your prompt. It will able to generate the image for you. However, just uh, be a little patient because the 3.5 large model is quite big. It uh, take uh, around the uh, one minute to generate one image. Okay, so that's it. I have just uh, fine-tuned a uh, LoRa for stable diffusion large 3.5 using my MacBook. If you find the video useful, don't forget to smash that uh, like button, subscribe for more content, and uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you everyone, I will see you next time, goodbye.